sports betting brother and hey bring it up and thanks for stopping by my name is my name is boyd i'm a sports betting market analyst with oddsjam.com and uh we're here to help you get better mathematically through data-driven betting tools and today we're talking today we're talking about the three i guess most important calculators that odds jam has on the site to help beginner and struggling sports bettors understand value i think these are three fundamental basic tools you can use to make more money so let's take a look all right guys here we go we're at the uh, home page of odds jam here and i'm going to go through i think the three calculators the three tools you can use as a beginner or struggling sports better to kind of hone in on on understanding value, understanding some things. And Ozium provides a ton of calculators here, a ton of tools. But I think this is, this video is sort of geared towards the folks that maybe I want to get to sort of a fundamental basis and sort of a beginning basis to understand and start a good foundation. So I'm going to start you off with a half point calculator. Now the half point calculator is really cool because this can help you identify value in alternative lines or if lines are very, very close. We're actually going to take a look at say an NFL uh, scenario here to where it'll show you um, if if the point spread is is uh, so let's say in this case three, um, it's going to show you the the prices for the favorite, the dog, uh, in both scenarios if that extra half a point was a little bit different, and uh, this will help you identify if you're getting value um, by understanding how much it's worth. And I actually have a little graph I pulled up that I put together to give you a little bit better uh, articulation of this. Here's sort of the chart I put together, guys. And so you'll notice in the NFL, the value of the points are certainly different. Uh, so every half a point is worth a little bit different amount. So, for example, a half a point from a half to one is really worth about, you know, less than 10 cents. But you start to get up here in the three, three and a half, four range where that's a, those are key numbers. The values go up significantly. So you're going to pay minus 165 uh, versus paying a lot less at the lower numbers. Um, that being said, you're also going to hit a big range and a big jump from the six through the 10. And so really, I guess what I'm saying is if you're in these ranges, um, it's, it's, it's not as important as these key ranges here that you'll see in the three, three and a half and four. And obviously we all know that kind of makes sense, right? We all know there's key numbers in the NFL, but this is going to show you some of the pricing and how it really jumps up. You know, it really jumps up from minus 280 to 320. <laughs> That's a 40 cent jump. Uh, but for that half a point, okay, and and they don't give you the same value on the underdog side. It's kind of interesting. It's 19 cents, 24 cents, 26 cents, but over on the on the dog side, it's 17, 21, and 18 because you know most of the sports betters out there are taking the favorites, and so they're charging more, taking more. Uh, of course, this is how the sports books are making their money. And so if you understand kind of what you're being charged. You know, understanding if there's a fair market value or a good value in what you're being charged, you can make a good determination. Um, but just keep this concept in, in hand for um, NFL. And so it's going to be completely different for uh, NBA, uh, college football, and college basketball. So as I mentioned, there are going to be different pricing for the favorites and the dogs. And this is the NFL. So remember, minus 135 and plus 112. So let's pop over real quick just to uh, take a look to um, the different sports. And I'll show you. What we're talking about so for example in the nba if it was a three you know minus 119 minus 102 obviously that's different than the minus 135 we just saw in the nfl and uh, this is going to show you that there's definitely variance in, in the pricing you understand obviously the markets are different the pricing is different and here you can see in college football uh at three at par basically the minus 110 is a minus 125 versus the minus 135 in the nfl so um Keep those concepts in play with the different sports as you understand the different markets. I harp on it all the time. Understand markets, markets, markets. Then after you get done figuring out the markets, go back and understand the markets. Okay, here we go. The next one I have for you, the odds converter. I think this is another really imperative one for you to know if you're just getting started and just getting out of the gate and kind of, or just need to kind of brush up and understand some of the concepts. And I think this is a good reminder that basically you take the, uh, the odds here and it helps you identify, um, you know, what the probability is. You know, most people say, oh, minus 130, minus 125, uh, this is a no brainer. Well, really there's, according to the, uh, probability here is, you know, just a little over half a 50 50 chance. So, uh, let's say the other way you want to go plus 130. You know, I think it's imperative to know that you have a concept, you start to think like this, and then you say, well, you know, for uh, 43% of the time, this will hit. So I think a lot of people, when they take these dogs, they think they have really kind of no chance. And the reality is this is probably a higher number than they anticipate. 
and then contrarily, the uh, the favorites, you know, like, wow, it's minus 150. How could I possibly lose? Well, you're going to lose, uh, you know, uh, or I'm sorry, minus 150, you know, you, you're going to, you're going to um, lose 40% of the time, you know, four out of 10 times. Yeah. So I think this is a good calculator to understand. Uh, if you ever want to check out other fractions or decimal systems, as far as any other uh, ways they calculate it, of course, we're staying with the American uh, odds here and have, has that probably, which is a very key, important part of understanding the uh, sports betting. Okay, guys, on to the third calculator that I think is very, very important to understand. Uh, as you're getting started, understanding the markets, understanding um you know, value, understanding all this. And so I come over here to the point spread to money line converter. Now, this is kind of interesting when you're shopping for lines, because let's say, for example, again, we are in the NFL and I'm going to do a quick example in the NBA. But <clears throat> if you're at three, you know, you should be getting minus 165 on the money line, <clears throat> excuse me, and a plus 136 on the underdog. So when you go back to the markets and you see that, uh, you know, they're, they're charging minus 175, you know, that's not a good deal when they're charging, uh, giving you plus 122. That's not a good deal. So you want to make sure you understand conceptually and, and approximately where you need to be and where you want to be to get value out of this. And so you can see here, we'll change it real quick again to, uh, let's say this, that the, the, um, Let's say, you know, not the commas have a one and a half point line. You know, that money line should be about a minus 129. If you're getting minus 115, that's great. You know, if you're paying minus 142, that's not great on the money line. So contrarily, you can kind of see where you're at on the underdog side too. So let's jump over real quick just to understand, uh, NBA. Um, again, lots of common spreads here. The common numbers are, you know, some of the common numbers are three and the seven in the NBA just because that's at the end of the games, you know, where they're, calling timeouts and stopping games and things. So let's just say you are at, um, let's say you're at three. You know, so minus 155, much different than the NFL. So again, I think understanding the markets, understanding the pricing, <clears throat> understanding where you should be, where you want to be, where you need to be is very important just, just as a starting point, as a foundation as you're getting, getting going in sports betting. So maybe you didn't think about this, you know, maybe, maybe you didn't, uh, you know, consider, uh, that if the spread's three, the money line should probably be in these ranges. And I think it's something you can start to use this tool, use these tools at Odds Jam to make sure you uh, are um, getting value, of course, as you're using the tools, the other positive VB pages, um, you know, all the, the odds screens, things like that. So just understand kind of conceptually what the market is, and I think you'll make a lot more money. There you go. Those are the kind of the top three uh, calculations and concepts. I think it's helpful to know as you first get started in the uh, data-driven, markets-driven, uh, focused uh, tools of Ozgen they're providing to make mathematical money. Don't forget that free seven-day trial. Get over, get that thing signed up, and uh, use the links to help you make some money quickly out of the gate as you uh, kick off your sports betting endeavors. Thanks again for stopping by.